7 verse 32, the wicked watch of the righteous and seek of to slay him. Call Allah Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukhakadash, the Bahanas to the elders and the apostles of great millstone, rule well, and who teach well. Shalom to the hopefully like men that scattered abroad, pushing the truth without sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. And shalom to the very, very few sincere sisters that's taking heed in the order. Right? Under Brother Amma Wan, coming back to the video, low one is edifying to the point. <clears throat> Excuse me. So here we have it, you know, persecution, tribulations, you know, all of those go up under the same banner, you know, Jacob's trouble, right? We in the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble, right? Um, here you have a little small TikTok. Now it's, it's a small video, but it's a heavy, powerful information because we, with this being said, we know things are starting to get down to the nitty gritty. Things can pop off, you know, in, in, in the next hours, man. You know, and I also try to look up this article. Um, I can only find the one from August, but here's another one from you know the 27th of September, right? But I'm gonna go into this and Lord Williams edifying to bring out some scriptures. Hey, so with that being said, man, I just want to say, hey, three times a charm. Call Allah Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Call Allah Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Call Allah Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Right? Because in the book of Second Ezra, chapter 9, talk about measuring the time. You know? We know persecution has to happen. We know Jacob's trouble has to happen. Right? And here we have it. And like the elder coined it, the hopefully of Jacob's trouble is at the door. You know? And every and we know what we're gonna head to is what the MOTB, you know. But like like the man sent out the video, martial law. Some something's about to happen to a martial law is declared, right? Port strikes, you know. We got these squatters, and people getting fed up, and they know something's about to pop, and they got these these um troops, right? <clears throat> On standby, right? And um, hey, I won't be surprised if it's a lot of those migrants that came over here. You know, they got suited up to where they got they they um they they paperwork scraped to where they're able to be a um a, a troop, right? That's who you're gonna see inside these streets, you know, patrolling, right? And um, back to the scripture right here, thirty two and thirty seven, thirty two. The wicked watch with the righteous, and seek to slay him, right? Because that's who that's who's making things move around. Us 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 righteous men, right? Hopefully, like men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, we excuse me, we prophesied him. We're making the gears go, man. You know, and that's who they're trying to come out and persecute, man. Either you're on the front row, either you're a believer. Hell, you could be the one that's inside the views, you know, of watching the Hebrew Israelites, man. <laughs> you want, you want, you're on the map. Hell, if you don't believe, you are on the map of getting heavily persecuted, <laughs> you know, by these, uh, by Esau Edom and his, you know, his little troops, man. Right, and um, let me let me grab the scripture in the book of uh Revelation 12 and 12. Right, the hey man, you got the door, but this Revelation 12 and 12, therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down to you having great wrath because he knows that he have but a short time, right. So it's a beautiful thing that we see an article like this. So we know things are going to pop off. You know, if we, hey, 2025 is going to be a, a whirlwind, man. Right? So, hey, Esau's going to pop something off because why? He know that he has a short time of ruling. 
that that that, that um sand inside the measurement um the hourglass. Hey, that shit is is getting real close to them seconds, man. The seconds is running out. Right, so you're gonna come down with great wrath, man. So we already know what that means. A second measure is sixteen, right? Which I will bring out, right? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So like I said, heavy persecution is on the way, and I queued it. Matter of fact, I had did it a different way. Um, I want to get martial law <clears throat> before I get to that. Right. So martial law. What is martial law in simple terms? It means martial law involves the temporary substitution of military authority for civilian rule and and is usually invoked in time of war, right? Ecclesiastes 3 and 8, right? We, we are in that time. It says rebellion, right? Second Edges 15, right? The um, tradition among men, uprising of people, right? We in the selection time, right? Shit may pop off, man. You got you got um Mac, that's the spirit. And hey, you have um Trump, man. These folks want Trump head, and let's just say they got his head, man. Martial law had to be declared, man. <laughs> you know? Martial law would have to be declared. <laughs> it says when martial law is in effect, the military commander of an area or country has unlimited authority to make and enforce laws when draconian laws coming in, you know. And we already know once those 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 uh troops come in, it's gonna be straight killing. Right? They're gonna re reconstruct everything to what really to gear towards this Karakma anyway. That's the ultimate goal anyway, through this, right? Order out of KO, you know. Um <clears throat> excuse me. Matter of fact, was it Mark thirteen and eleven? I wanna grab right quick. Like I said, Lord willing, this is edifying, you know. Uh, we're definitely getting closer and closer to it, to, to hell breaking loose. <laughs> right, um, kind of backing up the point, you know, of ultimately getting to those FEMA camps. You know, and, and them, them, them chip stations. You know, um, was it 13? I'm gonna come back to this. I'm gonna come back to this one. Ten verse nine. That's what it was. Salaki and verse nine was the point. Um, I was thinking ten for some reason, but it says, "Take heed to yourself, for they shall deliver you up to councils, and in the synagogues ye shall be beaten, and ye shall be brought before rulers and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them." This is red letter bold and red letter Yahweh shot was speaking, right? But we come to that time period, heavy persecution. What's what's more heavy than you be set up a concentration camp and you got an option, take the chip or get beheaded, you know? Beaten, you know, put getting letting these folk, you know, knock you upside the head with the gun, hitting the ribs with a gun, you know, trying to push you to 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 bow down to the image. You know? Just wanna say, hey, hey, keep the faith, you know. Be willing to go out. You know, for Yahweh Shah's sake, even if you have to perish, you know, um, let's say get your have your eyes closed for a, a short moment, right? The Lord told you, hey, and and um, I want to say Thessalonians chapter four, you know, the dead shall rise first, right? Psalms one sixteen, you know, it's a beautiful thing to die outside the Lord, you know, just a hey, just know this the persecution is coming, it's gonna be real heavy. You know, just keep the faith of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Right? Um, matter of fact, I read 11. You know, um, it says, But when they shall lead you and deliver you up, take no thought beforehand what ye shall speak, neither do ye premeditate, but whatsoever shall be given you in that hour that speak ye, for it is not ye that speak, but the Holy Spirit, right? The Rakakadash. Right, the Lord's going to speak for you in that time. You got to worry about nothing. You've been doing the groundwork right now. You've been holding it down now. Hey, keep the faith. This is a part of what we've been preaching, right? This is now we got to just uh, you know apply of keeping the faith, right? Hey, call all you have about Shemel Shah. We're gonna be straight. Um, 
Matter of fact, let me hop inside the scripture that I want to bring out um, in Second Nephi 16, and I got it inside of a different translation, right? And this is let me go to the top so you can see this Revelation. I'm mean, second slide, second address 16, and I'm gonna start at 60. I think it was 67, but this right here's in a new revised standard version, right? Updated edition. So going back down. And what does it say? It says impending. Excuse me, I had the definition for impending. Excuse me. Damn orange juice ain't, ain't, ain't it. <laughs> right? But impending means what? About to happen. <laughs> impending means about to happen. Right? A persecution of God's people. Who is God's people? All right, matter of fact, let me grab a quick precept, right quick. Salak it. Second Edges 15. Second Edges 15, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. The Lord's chosen people are the Israelites, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. It says, and called them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Right, we know things has to go in a time period, has how Yahweh Bashim Yahshai has it. You know, but we know it will come, be made, be made known, um, manifested, right? So, <clears throat> um, it says, I'm trying to get this shit off my damn screen. Okay. The burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, right? They is kindled right over you. And, and guess what? They they're in that um as if you like it's how it states in the book of Isaiah 59 and 19, how the image are coming like a flood. Hey, they're in that same type of way. They they are around us right now. They're ready to come to come in, man. They're ready to get down on Jake. They're ready, ready to get down on the believers as well. The ones on the forefronts, man. You know, the one that's actually making people wake up, pay attention, right? The burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. They shall drag some of you away and force you to eat what is sacrificed to idols. Right? And what are they really trying to get you to do? They're going to drag you off to what? The concentration camps. To do what? Make you bow down to this new image, man. You know? Which will be um, pretty much, you know, the face of that, that this, this, this image is going to be with that sea here, man. You won't be able to buy a little tray unless you have this device. You know, they want to make you pretty much they want to see if you're gonna turn your back against your how about Shemiah Rasha. Right? Hey, be like the spirit of the Maccabees, brother. They said we are ready to die than transgress the law. You're right, because taking the seat is something you will not be able to repent from. Right? It says, and those who consent to eat shall be held in derision and contempt and shall be trampled underfoot, right? And because um <laughs> it's uh take my words together. <laughs> hey, the one that's actually gonna take it, thinking, you know, um uh uh it's like about laughing about it, but you know, it just I'm just thinking like, you know, how Esau will have it, you know, once you take it, he's gonna laugh at you because he already know What's to come if you receive, you know, his his poison, you know, that sea hip. You know, and it says, and shall be trampled, trampled underfoot. They're gonna be in the streets looking for us, man. Right? Matter of fact, um I'll not read this one, go to the next precept. <clears throat> For in many places, 71, so like it, for in many places and in neighboring cities, there shall be a great uprising against those who fear the Lord. Right? There shall be a great uprising against those that fear the Lord. Because they're going to be what? Trying to trample us on the foot. They're going to be trying to find. They're going to be, you know, searching high, searching low, looking for the men of the Lord, man. You know, some will get called off into the concentration camps. Some won't. Right? Either way it goes, keep the faith. Let me grab this, uh, um, scripture right quick. Revelation 2 and 10. It says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. 
Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried. What they're going to try you with? The Karagma, man. Right? Revelation uh, is it 20 and 4. It talks about um, beheading. You know? They're going to try you, man. You're going to you get this or you can get beheaded. You know? It says that ye may be tried and ye shall have tribulation 10 days, right? A completion of number. What's the main thing about it? It says, be thou faithful unto death. And I will give thee a crown of life, right? That's the reward of staying down through the trials and tribulations, through the heavy persecution, right? Yahweh Shah had to get heavily persecuted. He had to go through it, man. And look at look how he came out, right? He on the right side, glorified, right? Now it's about to be glorified throughout the earth. Same thing with us, you know? Stay down and get that crown of life. We'll be glorified throughout the earth forever, <laughs> right? Um... Verse 72 of 2nd to 16, it says, They shall be like maniacs, sparing no one, right? And who going to be over here doing that? Mainly, we're going to have those, these troops, those migrants, that have been coming over here for the last three, four years undocumented, man. You know, hey, like we always bring up, that one, you know, T-word dude told you. He said, you don't know who I am right now, but hey, soon come, you will know who I am. You know, and there's more men like that, you know? As you watch the some of the people that was crossing over, you know, they was um, middle aged men, 20s, 30s, you know, fight, ready to fight. So just imagine you inside of a, a a place, you know, well, for, I can take that back. The men that's coming over, they used to the killings, the bombings and stuff like that. So when they get over here, they don't mind doing it, man, especially if they get paid for it, <laughs> you know. They're not going to be sparing you. They don't even know the language you're speaking. You know, they just know kill. Kill, um, so, you know, there's going to be a lot of melanin, right? They they know the tribes. They they know what we look like. They know what the Latino look like, right? They know what the so-called Negro look like. They know what the natives look like. They're going to be sparing. They're not going to be sparing, right? Feeling sorry for <clears throat> having no remorse. It says, um, they shall be like maniacs, sparing no one, but plundering and destroying those who continue, right? But plundering, let's get the plundering. Steal goods from, right? They can be, they can be walking inside your house. Hey, that is like how it was, um, um, the Ukraine, you know, when they, when they, when they ran up inside Ukraine, Stealing your goods, you know, and, you know, your wife is a part of goods, too, you know. That's a, that's a spoiling of that day as well, too. You know, um, be like, it said, be like maniacs, sparing no one, but plundering and destroying those who continue to fear the Lord, right? The elect, right? But as elect men must keep our head on the swivel and understand these things are supposed to come. But these things shall pass, you know, we, we're going to be straight. For they shall destroy and, pl and plunder their goods and drive them out of the house, out of house and home. Right. Hey, going back to the second edge, just, um, second edge is 15, um, no, 16, so I can. Matter of fact, you may have it in here, second edge 16 and 40. Right. We're going to be, we're going to be out of our home. We already know that. This is a part of the battle. The second edge is um, 16. You know, I'll go to, let's say it's 41, even though it's supposed to be in 40. <clears throat> yeah. It says 41. Hear my words, O my people. Prepare for battle. And in the midst of the calamities, be like strangers on the earth. Right? You've been like a stranger on the earth, hey, pretty much, you know, I read this at this translation, being like pilgrims. Second of 16 and 40, oh, my people, hear my word, make ye ready to die battle. And in those evils, be even as pilgrims upon the earth, right? Hey, how we talk about, um, you know, St. Um, Matthew chapter 7, you know, about building that rock, building that foundation on that rock, you know, being ready for the battle, being ready for the storm. You know, you should be banking on your high-bashing, you know, to get you through these storms that's going to come, man. 
you know, we're going to be moving around from city to city, town to town, wherever how the Lord, you know, guides us, man. You know, um, back in 71, it says, nah, 73, it says, for they shall destroy and plunder their goods and drive them out of, out of the house, out of house and home. It says, then the tested quality of my elect shall be manifest. That's the beauty of it. Then the tested quality of my elect shall be manifest like gold that is tested by the fire, right? Because we come into a troubling time, right? Let's go get it. We come to that troubling time, and you must what? Hey, remember what you signed up for, right? Sirach 2 verse 1, my son of thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation, right? You ain't no bowing down. This is what you signed up for, man. You made a, a contract with the Lord. Just by trying to take heed and get in order. You made a contract to keep going. Right? Don't take your hand off the plow now. This is what you've been plowing for. <laughs> you know? Set thy heart aright and constantly endure. And make no haste in time of trouble. Right? Don't shit. Hey, I'm gonna just say it's great, right? Don't bitch up. Right? It says, Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at that last end. That's the beauty of it. You can go through it. Right? We know the crown is at the end, so go through it. That, that's that's the um that's a part of the walk, right? Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient with our change to a lower state. Right? <clears throat> For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity, right? So you to be accepted, you have to go through that fire, man. Right? Mishayak, Shirek, and Abednego, hey, they got accepted through that furnace, man. Right? The Lord seeing hey, them, them, them real men. They sat in that fire, right? All because of what they didn't want to bow down by hearing music. They didn't want to bow down to um, Nebuchadnezzar, you know, because who they believed in who? Yeah, how about Shemuel Shah? They you know just it is it is a trial, right? That's all it is. We on trial, you know. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm gonna close up with this last scripture. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm going to close out this last scripture. Like I said, Lord willing, this was edifying. You know, but hey, something is definitely coming down the pipeline. Right? Revelation 3, verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Right? And it's all about keeping Yahweh. It's all about keeping the patience of Yahweh Shemayosha. You know, we know this hour of temptation is going to come. Hey, just hold steady, man. Right? You got to do that last one. Off of Salakia. It says, verse 74, second chapter 16. Then the tested quality of my elect shall be manifest like gold that is tested by fire. Right? Because hey, only the pure gold going to come through those tri trials and tribulations. Man, they're going to go through it. Get through it. Right, whatever comes their way, they're gonna get through it. Lord willing, we are a part of that remnant. Right, verse seventy-five. Listen, my elect ones, say the Lord, Yah, Bashmel Shah. The day the tribulation are at hand, but I will deliver you from the, but I will deliver you from them. Right, you gotta take that around with it, man. We know it's at hand. We know the time of Jacob's trouble is at hand. Right, do not fear or doubt. For Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah is your God. He's going to guide us through all these things. Matter of fact, I'm going to close out with the last scripture, right? Jeremiah 30 and 7. Just to back it up, back, back up the point. Jeremiah 30 and 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Right, the Lord will have hands over his elect. Right. Till next time, Salawam, Lord Wilms edifying.